Hello you one boys and girls and grown-ups. Um, it's Miss Osla for another English lesson. Um, so we're going to crack straight on with our word of the week. Who thinks they can remember what it is? <gasps> Let's have a quick look. Oh, I'm just sharing my screen. Here we are. Yep, definitely just the one word because we've only got one star. Hmm, any ideas? <gasps> Say it nice and loudly. I can't hear you. Let's have a look if you're right. Today, that's right, it is today. Now, some of you have been so clever at getting the word of the week in your writing tasks um, this week. So I'm really super impressed with that. Let's see if we can do it again today. <laughs> right. Oh, is it time for another instalment of The Enormous Crocodile? I wonder whether we'll get to the end. Mm, let's have a look. Now, do you remember what happened yesterday? Thank goodness for the roly-poly bird because he saved the day again, didn't he? And that crocodile's getting ever so hungry. I think the last count, he suggested he might want to eat six children. Oh, goodness me. But who's going to save the children this time? We've met Humpy Rumpy, We've met Muggle Wump again, and we've met the Roly Poly Bird again. Who's going to save them this time? I wonder if you can remember if there's anyone else waiting to come into our story again hmm, that we might have met earlier on in the week. <gasps> Quickly pause the video and chat to the person next to you. Is there anyone else? Anyone else of those jungle characters that might, um, is left to come into the story that might save the day today? Did you have a good guess? Oh, well, I tell you what, should we see if you're right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna ask you to pause the video and then pop into the Class Dojo and click on the YouTube link for the next installment and then come back and see what we're gonna do for our English task today. Okay. Oh, was that exciting? <gasps> Was Mrs. O a little bit mean? I've left it on another cliffhanger, haven't I? I know it's Friday tomorrow, but we've got one final bit of the story. So just come back tomorrow for that last bit of the story. There won't be any tasks connected to it, I promise. Right, so let's have a look. Oh, so Trunky was the, the jungle character that came to rescue the children this time. Thank goodness for Trunky. And he whizzed the crocodile round and round and round. I bet that looked quite funny, don't you? <laughs> I think it probably did. But we don't know what happens because as I said, I left it on a bit of a cliffhanger and I didn't tell you the very, very ending because today we're gonna see if we can make some predictions as to what we think might happen next. And then we're going to see if we can make our own ending up of the story. <gasps> wow, so you can become Roald Dahl for the day. <gasps> How about that? So let's make some predictions. He was swung, wasn't he? The crocodile was swung round and round and round. <gasps> oh, now let's have a look. What could have happened when Trunky let go of the crocodile's tail? Hmm. Why don't you pause the video and have a chat to the person next to you? What do you think could happen? <gasps> oh, did you come up with some good ideas? Well, I think going at the speed that he's going, when Trunky lets go, I have a feeling that the croc is gonna go flying off somewhere. But where, where could he go flying off to? Well, we're gonna have a little bit of fun today trying to think where he could fly off to. So I've put a couple of websites on here. You might find some more that you want to look at, but I'd like to show you these because if I can stop sharing this screen and go over to my other screen, let's have a look. <gasps> I found this website that you might like to look at. <gasps> Oh, look, there is a map of the world. Now, I know the world's not flat, but this is what it kind of looks like if it was laid out with all the different countries. Oh, now let's see. Oh, there's, if you roll over, 
the different areas of the map, it comes up with the, look, there we are, the United Kingdom. Aren't we small? Are we going to have a look? Ooh, where do I fancy going? Oh, Egypt. Mm, that looks interesting. So I'm going to click on there. Oh, and it tells me a little bit about Egypt. Now, do you think my crocodile might go to Egypt? I don't know. Will he fly off to Egypt? Oh, what's in Egypt? Pyramids. Of course, the pyramids are in Egypt. Oh, I like that idea. So I'm going to have a look at this other website called Google Earth. Now, this is quite fun. <gasps> look at this. So I found Egypt on Google Earth. It's over here. Oh, there it is. And I clicked on Egypt and it came up with this. And then I can click more info and it brings up lots of different pictures. I had a little look. There's an interesting sphinx. <gasps> So I'm going to click through some of these pictures that show me lots of different photos of Egypt. Oh, now that looks interesting. That's one of the pyramids. And oh, there they oh, they're enormous, aren't they? Look how small the people are compared to the pyramids. Oh, and there's some more statues. Wow. Yeah, I think my crocodile is going to go to Egypt. So I'm going to stop sharing that screen and come back to my other one. So what I'm going to do is think about that and see if I can write the end of the story. So you can have lots and lots of fun exploring those websites and having a think about where your croc might end up. And then the today's task is, can you design the final page of the book? Oh, how does the, your story of the enormous crocodile end? So we've got a template here and I'll attach that to the post in Class Dojo. So you can print that off if you want to and you could draw what happens at the end of your story and write a little sentence about where the crocodile goes. What happens to him? You could try and use some of those, some of those special words, like those crashing um, words that we explored um, yesterday. Our uh, onomatopoeias, to use the posh word, the words that sound like the noise they describe. You could try and use some of those. Or you could use some lovely um, descriptive adjectives um, about where the crocodile went. I'm going to try and think. Hmm, let's see if we can come up with one together. And the crocodile went. Oh, I said I liked Egypt, didn't I? So he's going to <gasps> zoom, zoom. That's one of the onomatopoeias. Zooming through the sky uh, across the oceans. And Oh, he crashed uh, into the tip of a pyramid, because I like the Egyptian pyramid. Uh, and how, what sort of noise do you think that makes? Mm, crashed, uh, doing, but doing. <laughs> Where he is stuck, where he is, I know, where he is still stuck, and watch for this, today, I've got my word of the week, yay! <laughs> um, there, and I could have written this underneath, and I could maybe draw a picture of the pyramid um, let's see if I can. This is a bit ambitious because I haven't practiced this. Let's see. I could draw a picture of the pyramid. There's my pyramid. Um, and maybe he's got the crocodile. Doing, doing. Oh, he's gone snout first. There's his tail. Um, let's give him an eye. Uh, an eye. <laughs> but doing into my pyramid. Um, and, and I could write that bit here, couldn't I, in my best handwriting. So that's your task for today. Have fun. Um, and we can't wait to read what your crocs get up to and how they end up at the end of your story. And then, as I say, tomorrow we'll post a video in Class Dojo just to give you the very ending of the real story.
Okay, so that's all I've got for you today. I'm looking forward to seeing your work. We've seen some amazing um, English work this week. I'm so impressed with you all. So keep going. It's brilliant. Well done. Take care and see you soon.